Welcome back, everybody. This is the Johnny Mare, and I am continuing with Stardew Valley. So we are continuing on here in spring. We've upgraded a few of our tools, and we also got our strawberries planted, which means we should have our first strawberry harvest coming up very soon. And apparently, we have a piece of mail. So Jody wants us to drop off a cauliflower. Well, luckily, I've been storing a cauliflower in my box just for this occasion. And we've also been growing some, so we should have one available to give to her for this little quest. Now, we also want to add a brand new row to our growing field area here. Because of the upgraded watering can, we can now handle more area each time, each day. And so that means we don't have to worry as much about the stamina reduction with our watering can. So we're going to expand our field a tiny bit by adding a new row on the outer area. Unfortunately, for those of you that it bothers such, there is going to be a tiny spot missing in the upper area there that cannot be dug up with the hoe or used as a planting spot. So we're going to have that little inlet there that we just can't do anything about. But before we throw some seeds down, we're going to put some fertilizer down, of course, so that we can maximize the quality of any crops planted here. And this will basically be the size of our field for quite a while, at least until we get an upgraded axe and we can clear out that stump down there. But it might just be the size forever, because basically we're going to be going for the greenhouse eventually. And then once we get the greenhouse, we'll be moving most of our growing inside there. So we won't be doing a lot of it out here. In fact, out here, I'm just going to have bee houses eventually. Assuming we can actually start creating bee houses. we got to get some iron ore first before we can do that. But we have a lot of watering to do to cover this entire field. We also have... Oh man, that was an accident. I didn't mean to eat that parsnip game kind of lag there for a second and it made me push the button the game has a bad habit of doing that of auto selecting crops that you've picked from whatever tool you're on and then you might accidentally eat one if you're clicking through but now we need to water before I do that though let's do a little bit of inventory management here we're gonna be selling some stuff off at Pierre's and then we're going to be buying a few things as well. And I also think it's time to make a second chest because we've almost got our first chest completely filled. So we'll probably move all of our key tools and maybe our mining supplies into that new chest. But let's sell this stuff off. I'm going to make sure I don't sell the cauliflowers. We'll save one of those for Jody. And now we'll water. All right, so we are all set now to go out on the town and explore and do a little bit of foraging. We're almost at level five with our foraging as well. So we'll get a perk from that once we get to it. Being Friday, we also have the traveling merchant in town. He comes always on Fridays and Sundays. So we might as well stop by and see what he has available. Or she, or they. A sea cucumber. Those are kind of annoying to catch. Again, we haven't really touched fishing so far that much, but I will be doing it eventually. Not a ton, but certainly a little bit more. Not really anything of note here at the merchant. All right, so now we're down on the beach. You'll notice we've got these petals kind of flying around, pollinating the air, probably causing our allergies to act up pretty significantly certainly would be affecting me in real life if that was the case. It looks like there's a lot of forage for us to pick up down here on the beach. So that's good. Let's build up our foraging experience. Catch three carps? I don't think so. And it looks like tomorrow is Shane's birthday. And that is the last birthday for a little while. Although we do have a festival coming up as well in a few days. Maybe we'll get to that in our next episode. Yeah, it's Friday. That means everyone's going to be collecting at the saloon tonight. So we'll have to interact with everybody. 
And I did not mean to sell all of those cauliflowers. I meant to keep one. And that was a mistake. But we're still going to buy the backpack upgrade. So now we have two rows of inventory space in our backpack, which is gonna be very helpful when we start mining again, if we ever get a rainy day. We're also kind of getting to a point with mining that I'm just gonna start doing it every day after I do my chores and try to do about five floors each night. We're not quite there yet, but as we get closer to the end of the month here in spring, I really need to start getting some iron ore so I can start setting up some bee houses. So we want to start getting honey. So let us head down in this direction. We want to head over to the Jojo Mart and pick up some seeds because we did have some open slots in our field. And we're still at a point where we can get a couple harvests of parsnips out. So we're going to stock up on as many parsnip seeds as we can. Yeah, you really should get another hobby, Pam. Just drinking is not the best thing. Seems like the only other thing you do is come here to the Jojo Mart. And Jody, I'm so sorry. I know I was supposed to bring you a cauliflower, but I accidentally sold them all. Low prices, huh? I mean, if you're a member, they're certainly low. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of foresting in here and cut down these trees. that has been your moment of mindfulness for this episode. Sorry, butterflies, I didn't mean to destroy your house, but I'm sure you can find another one. All right, so we're at the saloon and everyone's here. So we're gonna talk to everybody. Just get in our idle chit chat. They don't really have much new to say, although maybe they will. Sometimes they'll break out a brand new line every once in a while. Especially if you've already talked to them previous in the day. So Abigail, for example, had a different line there. But some of them always say the exact same things. Like Marnie, for example, is always, Marnie is not paying attention to you. And Leia always seems to say something about the trees. So you go, Leia. It looks like Elliot actually has some new information, and I always accidentally jump on the stool next to Pam. I mean, we're just good buddies. We like to sit next to each other. But Elliot let us know that Willie likes pumpkins. Hmm. We did miss Clint, but he should be on his way. Oh, and we're activating a cutscene here for Linus. What is he doing? Going through George's trash. Now, I'm not sure why we came from the right side there. We must have uh, gone all the way down around the mayor's house. And maybe all the way around the river. Or maybe to the north around Pierre's. To come from that place. Considering we were coming out of the saloon. But yes, we will try to scare off these quote-unquote raccoons that are making a big mess. Apparently they're dropping stuff on the ground when they go through his trash. What you doing, Linus? Uh, okay. But it's being mixed in with a bunch of other trash, isn't it? That's kind of disgusting. I mean, as I said, it's pretty disgusting. Now, the 
answer they're looking for is no, it's a shame for food to go to waste. That's the thing Linus wants to hear. The other answers, of course, are not necessarily what he wants to hear, but really it's disgusting and it's also unsanitary. He could get sick. So we're going to go with that particular answer. I mean, you haven't gotten sick yet, but that doesn't mean you're not going to get sick. And I'm sure you probably cannot afford medical care if you do get sick. All right. Well, I guess we've achieved our goal here, which is to have him stop rummaging through George's can, but what's he going to do then instead? He's going to go to the next can. Nice. I mean, the answer about private property, at that point, when it's trash, it's not really your property anymore, in my opinion. I guess, kinda. But that's not really so much a concern of mine. It's more him getting sick. And Gus, of course, is going to show some concern here. If Linus needs food, he will provide him with food. I mean, I would be the same way as a farmer. If Linus needed food, I would provide him food from the farm. Helping out neighbors and all of that. His behavior is not necessarily the best thing to be doing. But ah well. There's Clint. Let's talk to Clint fast, and then we will head back to our farm and end out the day. Alright, so that's another day in the valley. We'll talk to our pup, and then we will call it a day. Fairly successful. We got the upgraded backpack. The only other thing we really need to upgrade yet is the axe. But we're going to need a lot more copper ore to make some copper bars to do that. But again, we should have our strawberry harvest soon. And then we will have a lot of money to focus on that particular upgrade. Ooh, and it's going to rain tomorrow. Nice. So that means we can actually do some mining as well. And not feel guilty about it. Or waste all of our energy on watering. Alright, we have more mail. Pam sent us a recipe. Interesting. Cheese cauli cauliflower. We must have reached at least three hearts with her. Yeah, we did. Nice. So as you increase your affinity with the residents of the valley, they will start sending you recipes. And that is the way to unlock certain recipes in your recipe book. So lots of parsnips here to harvest and also plant from our stock we picked up yesterday. Now we're not going to be doing a ton of cooking. The main purpose of cooking is to make love gifts for increasing affinity with certain people. That's our cauliflower for Jody. We're not going to sell it this time, hopefully. So I'm going to throw it in the box along with some other items here. We need to be very careful. Please yell at me if I'm about to sell it again. And I will hear you across time and space. And I will make sure not to do it. But we do need to plant some more seeds down there. And hopefully tomorrow when we get mining, we'll get some more stuff for the museum. We'll stock up on some more copper ore. And then maybe we'll get deep enough that we can start finding iron ore. I think we have to get past level 40 to start seeing iron ore. I mean, you can get it as a random drop sometimes. But that's not very common. All right, so let's head down and do some foraging. It's Shane's birthday as well, so we want to make sure that we drop off a gift for him. We have a couple options here. Hopefully not the cauliflower. We want that for Jody, for her quest. We'll also knock out a few of these things that have been popping up around the forest, even though we've been cleaning out the forest as we've needed to. So let's head in and talk to Marnie. We got her to two hearts already, so she's all set for an event that we need that at in the near future. Apparently Shane likes pepper poppers. We do not have pepper poppers though. That is a cooked dish and we do not have a kitchen yet. So we are going to give you some coral, which is a universally neutral item for most people in this game. 
And that'll bump Shane up to a heart, and Marnie is at two hearts. So now the only people we're really concerned about are Caroline and also Haley. Uh, we got uh, Sam and Sebastian here. It's rare to see Sebastian out from his room. Can I talk to Sebastian, please? So he's one of the characters I don't really talk to a lot, and in most playthroughs I have to go out of my way to make sure that I actually talk to him if I'm trying to boost his affinity. Is Haley around? It doesn't look like it. Another character like that is Maru and then also Elliot. Those are the ones that I typically don't see very much, and so it's hard for me to naturally boost their affinity. But we're going to head up here to the playground area because that is generally where Haley is, except on Mondays in spring. Or on rainy days, like tomorrow. Alright, so we have something to drop off here at the museum. And that is an ancient doll that we found. So let's donate that. I doubt we'll get anything. I think we're still a couple items away from getting the next reward. It looks like Harvey's over here as well. Maybe boning up on his medical readings. So this is an ancient doll covered in grime. Was it a toy, a decoration, or a prop? Who knows? What do you think? I think it was a toy. Like this bear. It's ragged, but still cute. All right, and now we have Jody and Caroline and Evelyn out and about, just sort of chilling and talking and looking at the flowers. So let's give Jody the cauliflower and let's talk to Caroline as well. Yellow curry, hmm, not my favorite, but that does sound good, I guess. So that'll boost Jody's affinity a little bit, and we got some money. All right, and while we're up here, we're gonna cut down some trees up here as well. And then we will head back to the farm. Because we always need more wood. And we'll grab that forge too. So an early day today. Not much to do beyond our natural kind of basic chores. Tomorrow's gonna be a fairly big day. Because now we actually get to do some mining. We haven't been in the mine since the last rainy days. There's our pupper. Hanging out inside. Doesn't like to get wet. Oh, and we're actually getting two rainy days in a row again. Nice. I like this pattern. I don't mind a couple rainy days in a row every little while. Like every week or so. What's the new dish? Radish salad. And then you talk about a radish sandwich. Hmm. Radishes are not my favorite. Generally with my salads, I keep them pretty basic. Lettuce. Maybe some carrot. Uh-oh. Looks like our strawberries came in. Oh, yeah. The mega field has produced, finally. 51 strawberries. These suckers are worth quite a bit. Let's grab them. And sometimes with strawberries, what will happen is you'll actually get a multiple crop out of a harvest. It's pretty rare, but sometimes you'll see two strawberries pop out when you pick one up. So we're going to put aside ten of these, because eventually when we reach farming level nine, we will gain access to the seed maker, which will allow us to make our own seeds. So we're going to convert 10 of those strawberries into strawberry seeds to put into our greenhouse. And then we're also going to fill up the rest of the greenhouse with some other plants that reproduce repeatedly over and over again. Like strawberries. A great one would be blueberries, which is a summer crop, and it's the one we're primarily going to be using once it turns over to summer. So that'll be the main crux of our field. But otherwise, we want to grab our mining supplies here. 
And we also want a few new gifts, because being a Sunday, we can start giving gifts to people again. So the only people we're still working on are Haley and Caroline. We might actually, with this gift, be able to get Caroline to two hearts. And that would be nice, because then we could access her back room. Sunday means the traveling merchant. And he has Iridium bars. Wow. 5,000 gold. Those are really nice. Those are needed for some of the most expensive and best things that you can craft in the game. But obviously we do not have the funds at this point to buy those. And the rest of this is really not anything we're interested in. Now, I'm not sure if I showed this off the last time it was a rainy day. But uh, there is a person that shows up on the beach on rainy days. That is an old mariner here. And he has an amulet that he is willing to sell, but you need to be at very high affinity with somebody. Essentially, this is the blue feather from Harvest Moon of this particular game that allows you to propose to the person. Where's Haley? She's hiding in her bed. Well, Haley, if you were a triangle, you would be an acute one. And that is your terrible pickup line for this Sunday. All right, nothing really coming up. We do have the flower dance pretty soon, so it should show up in the last day of our next episode. And we can actually accept this quest as well, because we might actually find crabs in the mines after we do some mining today. And tomorrow, since it's supposed to be a rainy day tomorrow as well. Now, I would love to buy the third level of the backpack, but it is just way too expensive. It's actually something I may not buy in this playthrough. Just because money tends to be pretty tight. But we'll see. Perhaps we will have enough and I will be able to splurge in that investment. Hello, Caroline. Are we going to get you to two hearts today? I have a piece of coral for you. Was that enough? Let's see. Yes, it was. Caroline is at two hearts. Now we got Marnie and Caroline both at two hearts, which means we can access her flower room here, which is pretty awesome. The rest of the day we're gonna spend mining. Let's see how deep we can get in the mines today. So we're going to have to deal with some pretty annoying enemies now, which are the bug enemies. Those little larvas that can also turn into the flying ones that have the very random patterns. And then we have these bugs that just slowly and lazily kind of fly back and forth in the same pattern. Now I think our luck wasn't the greatest today. So we may not get down the 10 floors I want to. We may only be able to do five, especially because we're trying to do this quest for Demetrius. And I think if we get it before the five floors, we're probably just gonna exit the mine and cash it in so I don't have to worry about it for tomorrow, trying to find him. And then tomorrow we can focus entirely on just getting as deep as possible in my next episode when we do more mining. Oh, there's a crab. So the goal will be at least five floors today to finish off the quest if possible and then get as much ore as possible so that we can also upgrade our ax. Now we have just enough to upgrade the ax to copper. But again, keep in mind, we're going to get a lot of money from the strawberries. Probably at least seven-ish thousand, I would imagine, from that first harvest of strawberries. So that's going to set us up to upgrade the axe, as well as have a nice little fund available for summer. To allow us to buy summer crops. And in summer... What our field is going to look like is the top couple rows of the field are going to be sunflowers. Oh man, and 
infested floor. So these floors show up every once in a while. And basically you have to kill all of the enemies on the floor in order to advance. And for these larva characters, we don't want to hit them all at once because you do have a set amount of time once you hit them the first time before they turn into the flying version. Like there was a Dougie over here too. Diggling away. But these floors can be good in our case because now we have a crab. So this will be our second crab, I believe. Maybe the third, I don't know. Oh no, it was the third. Okay. Wasn't paying attention. So we're good now. Once we get to floor 25, we'll exit. We'll go talk to Demetrius and hand that in. And then I might come back to the mines and finish off the night and see if I can get down to floor 30. But if I'm not able to, I'll probably just cut to the um, farmhouse. So the stairs usually appear right below the stairs that go up once you clear out the infested floor. So that's usually pretty nice, although in some of the floors they're pretty long and windy, and so it makes you go all the way back to the entrance area to get to the next floor, which can take a lot of time. Stairs, nice. I do want to explore a little bit here. If I was going for the 10 floors, I would definitely take the stairs immediately. But we are going to go talk to Demetrius. Hey, Demetrius, don't walk away from me. I need to talk to you. And I also need to get back to the mines. We did. Do you really have to say so much? You can't just say, good job, thank you, here's your reward. You have to tell me all about it. Uh, that's good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for putting something up on the board I could actually do that isn't fishing related. Or like giving you a gold bar or something or a prismatic shard. All right, so that's the last day again in the valley. We're going to call it a night here, call it an episode. We upgraded to level six farming, which allows us to get the second level of the sprinklers. And we also got to level five foraging which gives us a very nice perk, which is the Forester perk. So now we can get a lot more wood whenever we chop down trees. So as always, viewers, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for the continued support. I'll see you all in my next episode while we do a little bit more mining and upgrade our axe. And also have our second festival. So long. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press like and leave a comment below. Please also subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell. See you next time.